roll for your starting material. Okay, we're starting with an alkyl halide. All oh. right, so our product is an amine. Nice. So we're going to start off with an alkyl halide, then we're going to get to an amine somehow. Okay. All righty, so our alkyl halide would look like this, uh -huh. and we're going to try to get to oh. an amine. Okay. What are you thinking? Could we somehow react this bromine with a cyanide and then reduce it to an amine? Beautiful. Does that work? Keep going. Yeah, okay. Keep going with your thoughts. <laughs> okay, so... What would we have there as our reagent? Just KCN work? That works as a spectator ion, potassium works, or sodium is a common one that you've seen. Oh, yeah, that doesn't yeah. make sense. Anything. So we can write that in. Good. We know that this is then going to form a... A nitrile. Yes. Great. So only thing that changes, these two swap. Mm -hmm. And we now have added that what additional carbon. carbon. Yes. Beautiful. Keep going. But this would be the lithium aluminum H4, H, that one. Yeah, that's honestly a way to do that. That's okay. perfect. Okay, good, good. So write that out. And would we have excess here? No. In this case, yes. I do want to note that for some professors or, you know, textbooks, sometimes they put excess, sometimes they don't. Yeah. And then other times they'll also place our acid as a second step. Mm -hmm. I do want you to commonly at least place, you know, both of those steps because that's how you typically see it. That's totally fair. And that does give us our answer.